the Atlanta Falcons have traded for another defensive addition. This time, a corner, Jeff Okuda. Yes, Jeff Okuda, the former third overall pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, has been traded by the Detroit Lions to the Atlanta Falcons for a fifth round pick in this year's NFL Draft. Jeff Okuda has one year remaining on his rookie contract, his fourth season. And then Atlanta has to make a quick decision on whether or not they want him around for a fifth year option. Now, what I think Atlanta is going to do is they're going to bring him in the building. They're going to see how he looks in their system, their new defensive scheme. And they're going to assess him all year long on a cheap contract now currently for 2022 he is making 5.2 million dollars because of where he was drafted third overall he is likely going to see significant time in the secondary and I believe they're going to shift him to a new role that we have not seen him play much in the NFL although when I evaluated him coming out of Ohio State into the NFL I thought that Jeff Okuda was best at the nickel position He's been playing primarily at the perimeter corner spot, being drafted third overall by Detroit, which was the previous regime, right? Matt Patricia and company of the Detroit Lions. This new regime had no ties to him. They made other significant moves at cornerback. They wanted to move off of Okuda. Atlanta is likely going to have him play at the nickel spot, which is the slot corner position which is going to be in tandem and in combination with A.J. Terrell and Casey Hayward, which I believe will be their number one and number two, their perimeter corners. But in nickel, which a majority of teams is basically the base personnel of defense, he's going to be playing against a lot of these slot receivers. And I think the problem for Jeff Okuda has not only been injuries, he struggled to stay on the field throughout his NFL career, but last year we saw a significant playing time a significant enough sample size to understand what he is in the NFL, especially at perimeter corner. So last year, he had 73 tackles in 15 games, but he only played 10 games in his first two seasons. He's only 24 years old, but when taking a look at his PFF snap counts, right? Last year, 645 snaps at wide cornerback. 116 in the box, only 24 located at slot corner. He had a rough grade, according to Pro Football Focus last year. He graded as the 77th best player at corner out of 81 graded corners. So he was one of the worst, lowest graded corners in the NFL last year for Detroit. What I will say, though, is given the draft capital that was invested into him at third overall at 24 years old. His first year of really playing in the NFL for a substantial period of time last year. Now he's coming into this season healthy on a new team, fresh slate, no expectations of a third overall pick, just a flyer. That's what he is. He's a flyer for a fifth round pick which is what a lot of players are in the fifth round. A flyer. For Detroit, what they allow themselves to do here is probably more flexibility to play other players and not feel the need to play Jeff Okuda and not have the expectation of having him play because of his draft capital that they invested into him. Not this regime, but the previous regime. Still exists. They remove some of their cap, $5 million, right? So they get some cap space. They could potentially sign another free agent at a needy position or they could go out and trade for Devin White or they could do something, whatever they want to do, right? I did talk about them potentially going after Devin White in another video that I made. But Detroit spent some money on other corners that they want to play. And they've seen enough of Okuda, especially at perimeter corner, to know that he's not it for them. But that doesn't mean that he can't be it for somebody else, especially at a new position, right? He is six foot one, 205 pounds, two interceptions in 25 career games. 
but he's dealt with some injuries. So can he come into this year healthy with a fresh mindset in a new system, a new scheme, playing a new position and thrive and play better? And maybe you get some good play out of him. And if you get good play out of him, you don't have to sign him to a fifth year option. You can simply just sign him next year. You're probably still going to be able to get him at a one or two year deal. Nothing too crazy, right? Because of the struggles. And I believe he could work out. He's at least worth the flyer. So I don't hate this move by Atlanta. I do like what they've done this offseason defensively. I like that they've at least attempted to address every single need. Every single position. Right, you look at their depth chart, Calais Campbell, David Onyemata on the interior defensive line. They also get Eddie Goldman back, so that helps. And then they sign Caden Ellis at linebacker, right? And then they also get, they basically have only not addressed edge from looking at their depth chart right now, which they'll probably address at eighth overall. And then they addressed corner with Jeff Okuda, and they addressed safety with Jesse Bates. And they also signed Mike Hughes, who was also a Detroit Lion last year. I'm a big fan of Mike Hughes when he played in Kansas City. And I was a big fan of him coming out of the draft as a man-to-man corner. So I think he could work out maybe better than Jeff Okuda. But I understand trading for a third overall pick, a former high prospect. You probably had very high draft grades on him. Bring him into your building and see if you can coach him up. I don't hate that. I'm never going to hate that. Especially for a fifth round pick that you don't know if that guy's going to be good, if he's going to suck, what it's going to be. Now, Detroit obviously thought the guy wasn't ever going to get any better. And we just get rid of this cap space, get a draft pick for him. Detroit, it's a fine move for Detroit too. But Atlanta, I think it's worth the risk. It's worth whatever the risk is, which is very minimal. And it's worth the flyer to at least see if this guy can play for your team. So I don't hate it. Okay, and it adds competition to the cornerback position. And you have no future investment in this player either. So you're just taking a look at him for a year. As a team that's getting better, but what's their timeline like? Maybe... They want to try to compete in this division this year, but it's not like a must that they have to go to the playoffs. You know what I mean? So Atlanta, Detroit, Jeff Okuda, fifth round pick. I like the move for both. It makes sense for both organizations. We'll see how he looks in an Atlanta uniform. I think that he struggled so far in his career to play perimeter corner, to play man, to consistently match up with the best receivers in football. He struggled, I think, with speed, with injuries. If he can shift to the inside, I think he has the lateral ability to play there and he has the smarts to play there. But can he get his swagger back will be the question in Atlanta. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed Gronk, spike the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Peace.